Facility Security Plan. The fa this Facility Security Plan outlines the procedures and measures employed by Walmart corporations to address security needs at various risks, uh, levels, and responds effectively during instances when undesirable events occur. This document contains some factual information while other parts are completely fictional. The plan overviews a brief and limited knowledge of the facility in the event of emergency. Facility profile. The facility is a brick and cement made building colored gray and blue. There are three main entrances at the front labeled grocery, lifestyle, and pharmacy and outdoor. Multiple fire exits can be found around the perimeter of the building. The building address is 3875 Monday Mill Road, Oakwood, Georgia, 30566. Facility type. The facility is a mixed tenant with non-federal tenants, one federal and state local government tenants, including associates, uh, off-duty officer, and customers. Construction. The Walmart facility use, utilizes steel and metal as the building frame along with, along with brick and cement for enveloping its structure. Floor plans can be found on the Walmart app for any location or this link. Facility security level. Um, Walmart Walmart um, includes its own security level um, codes. Code white indicates injury. Code blue indicates bomb threat. Code red indicates fire. Code black indicates tornado. Code Adam indicates missing child. Code orange indicates chemical spills and hazardous materials. Code brown indicates acts of violence. Population. On average, 80 to 90 employees are staffed at a single time, along with over 10,000 customers in a single day. In the instance of remodel or construction, an extra 50 employees are clocked in at a single time. General functions performed at the facility, selling and delivering of general consumables and merchandise to the public. Essential functions include a security officer who maintains the safety and well-being well -being of the general population, and the store manager who maintains health code policies exercising food safety. Utilities, uh, Walmarts located in the zip code are supplied by Jackson EMC. Their contacts is 1-800-462-3691 um, or email info at jacksonemc.com. Roles and responsibilities. Store managers and coaches, one cap one through three, and then security, um, organizations include an off-duty officers. The store manager is George Tinoco. His phone number is 770-331-8224. Uh, Email um, at George, George Tinoco at walmart.com. Cap Coach 1, Enrique Torres, 678-687-0326. Email Enrique Torres at walmart.com. Cap Coach 2, Aleda Melanes, 678-963-6882. Email Aleda Melanes at walmart.com. Uh, Cap Coach 3, Thomas Mitchell, 678-993-3508. Email Thomas Mitchell at, at walmart.com. And of course, the uh, off-duty officers. Risk management strategies. In the instance of flood, there are black, black room drains and water systems shut off. Um, in case of fire, emergency, entrapment, lockdown, lockdown system and to contain the fire and fire alarms, active shooter, security on site, panic buttons, communication system between all employees throughout, throughout the facility, emergency exit, and security cameras. All of these have been accepted as part of the risk management process. These create serious dangers to every, to, to every person in the facility and create a long period of recovery. Security countermeasures. All entrances are absorbed by are observed by walking by working associates during working hours. Security is placed at the front of the facility with clear communication of all persons in authority and entrance associates. Fire exits are found around the perimeter, can only be used in case of emergencies. Once fire exit has been opened, the fire alarms will sound. Security of facility interior area secure, uh, security associates found walking through the facility in pedestrian attire. Facility of critical restricted areas. Facil uh, facility badge in order to enter restricted areas. Restricted areas located behind back double doors in the facility. Incident response management. Reporting. Facility employees are expected to call 911 in the instance of violence or fire. They report to internal operations in the instance of flood. 
notification. Intercom system notifies all occupants in the facility while person in authority response notifies to first responders. Response, fire department response during fire, medical and law enforcement during an act of violence emergency, alarm during flood, alarm response during flood. Recovery, in the instance of fire or act of violence, all facility employees file a report of their own experience, location, and possible physical injuries. Medical clearance is needed to return to work. Damaged areas of the facility are completely restricted while repairs are made. During a flood, all non-essential personnel are sent home and will be informed on when repairs have been completed and it's safe to return. Special events, facilities, facilities experience higher traffic parking control a few times throughout the year during this, off-duty officers are hired at, holler, hired at higher volume along with double employees present as well. All associates are expected to remain in their assigned locations with a clear line of communication between authority personnel. Training. All training can be found through the facility website. All courses must be completed before reporting to work when hired. General drills are completed between departments and must be run through at least once with every employee at time of hiring. Exercises. Coaches of every department gather their employees and run through what to do in the instance of every emergency. Questions regarding the exercise are asked at the end along with confirming the completion of computer courses of every associate. Plan review. The, re the plan is reviewed between the store manager, HR, and general market and regional market manager.